to my channel so today i am so excited because i'm gonna be cooking with you guys well not exactly cooking but we are going to be whipping up something that i saw online super duper cool it's called the dalgona drink I, i'm sure you guys have heard about it so i wanted to try it out myself because i'm off we're on quarantine so what else is there for me to do than to whip up this creamy delicious looking drink so i'm going to show you guys all that you need to recreate this and then we're just going to jump right into it and not going to waste your time because i want some coffee i'm craving coffee right now okay guys so all you're going to need is some milk i like almond milk i don't do regular milk regular sugar instant coffee of your choice a measuring something device and a nice clear glass for aesthetics a whisk and that special that I ended up using. So I'm going to proceed as if I know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> I mean, I kind of do, right? I'm going to be doing it as if I'm like an expert, but honestly, this is my first time recreating this drink, but I'm pretty sure it will be fine. So if you looked online, the recipe is pretty, pretty simple. You're just going to do equal parts, instant coffee, sugar, and water it really is that simple so that's exactly what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna take my instant coffee um this is just from the dollar store nothing really special about it and i'm just gonna pour it into this cup and we're just gonna go to town off the bat i will just like to say this is not a drink that i probably would indulge in every single day because this is a lot a lot Oh my God, just looking at this is making me slightly uncomfortable. We're just gonna, we're just gonna put all the sugar. And it says equal parts water, so I'm just gonna get some water. All right guys, so once you've done that, now come the hard part. So if you have an automatic whisker, this should be super duper easy for you, but for me, I don't. So I have to take a whisk that I once again bought from the dollar store and I'm going to just whisk this bad boy which is what the directions say until you create that cute foam looking texture so oh my gosh they said you have to do this for about 10 minutes so I don't think even my dog likes this so I'm just gonna be whisking for 10 minutes just 10 minutes of whisking so this is what it looks like when you first start. Oh my God, the magic is for real happening. Jeez. Uh, All right, that was actually pretty quick. It happened a lot quicker than I thought. My arm is legit getting tired already. That's how out of shape I am. But I am dedicated to making this video. Just a little check in guys. We are five minutes in and this thing is like legit foaming up. Like seriously, this is so cool. All right, so this is legit the part of the video where I'm wondering if it's even worth it. My wrist feels like it's about to fall off. So all those people who are like crazy about missing the gym, if you do this <laughs> once a day, this is a workout because my arm for real hurts. But we're making progress. So I'm just gonna keep, I'm just gonna keep whisking, just whisking away. Yo, in all seriousness, this is this is very laborious for my arm. Like whisking. If you have a boyfriend, brother, friend, shoot, anybody but you, I would def that you're sharing this with, share the task of the whisking because. Yo, just because I'm doing this, this video deserves a like because this is not fun. <laughs> this is like really hard. And you're supposed to, and I feel like it's only halfway there. Like, stop what you're doing. Show some pity for me and give this video a thumbs up. This is no joke. And then on top of it, the other people that I've seen have their stuff like mad thick, bro. How am I gonna get it that big? Do I really have the stamina and the willpower to keep whisking this? This is hard. I 
stunning. I like the consistency that I think I'm supposed to have it. Oh my god! putting some ice in mine because I want to ice coffee. Now we're going to pour some milk. Now we are going to add our mixture, which looks really nice and frothy. Well, this is one way to do it. Delay. Mm. That looks good. And because I am now basic, I'm gonna put some cinnamon. All right guys, so here is the real test. Look at this, it's actually so pretty. Like I feel like I'm in a bougie bistro. So you're supposed to mix it. Like I said, I use almond milk because I don't really do regular schmegler milk. Do not add any type of creamer, sweetener, or anything to your milk, or you will legit go into like a diabetic coma because this froth part is sweet enough. So let's, let's taste it. Starbucks, I need you to call me, baby. I'm the next barista. If you could pay me some nurse wages, I might just give up this RN license for a job. I'm just saying. This is really, really good. It tastes amazing. It's frothy, it's refreshing. I made it. I'm stuck in the house, so there's nothing else to do. I did that. Now go ahead and give this video a thumbs up because my arm still hurts. This is really good. I was supposed to take a picture. And I didn't, so now I don't know what I'm gonna use for my cover. Great time. 